Hello everyone. I hope this video finds you well. Previous video, I've already done a quick review and overview of four different sets of budget festivals. So, and then I've also previously done quite a few videos on how to do pastel artworks, simple, soothing pieces of pastel art. So today we are starting off, well actually not really starting off, but continuing on with this set of Vera Aqua Colors. Okay, these can be considered as water-soluble crayons, okay, and depending on who you talk to, they may say it's oil pastels, but I would refer to these as crayons because they feel more like crayons laying down, except they are water-soluble and they are not this wet sea. So they are comparable to like fat sticks or colored pencils. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so this is the Lira Aqua Color. And they are comparable to Parandash. New color to the water soluble crayons from Parandash, which are extremely expensive, but really high quality and good products which is not a lot I can say for this because I have two sticks of these watercolor soluble crayons that are kind of disintegrating over the years. I've had this set of crayons for a few years now and I have sticks that are cracked, okay? And I have two sticks that are disintegrating. You, I, I will tell you which ones I'll show you later on. Okay, the sticks that are cracked up, so they look like this. Kind of sad, but they can still be used. They're not like dried up, you know. When you put water on them, they still dissolve and everything. Okay, and then the sticks that are disintegrating these two colors, they're green. Okay. These two green colors. As soon as you put them on paper, what happens is uh, they start sticking to the paper like you know the whole entire piece of pastel is going into the paper. I'll show you later on. Okay, but first let me show you some properties of these pastels. First, okay, so I'm going to pull out the usual. I'm going to show you how they blend. So I'm going to show you three colors. I'm going to pull out three colors: the red, orange, and the yellow. To show you how they blend, they they blend pretty well, okay, and they also layer with white pretty well, as in they lighten the colors. Okay, and then I'm going to need the blue to show you how they mix. They don't really mix that well dry, as you will see. Okay, but this set of crayons has its own unique qualities that I will show you a bit later that I kind of like. Okay. Right, I'm going to set this aside. First, how do they blend? So, I'm going to do the red color now. So I'm going to show you first, actually, I'm going to do the layering first, and then I'll show you how it blends. Okay. So I'm putting a really, one really light layer on, and then I'm doing another one, and then another one, and then 
the one so you can see that they do layer quite well they do produce a little bit of dust all right so and then you can sharpen these crayons as well and i would recommend that you save uh, i'll show you a little bit later with that okay now blending so as i mentioned earlier i'm going to show you how it blends So this is the cracked yellow, the dried up yellow. Yeah, it's starting to disintegrate too, I can feel it, it's like getting really sticky. Okay, now, dry, they don't look like they blend, but once you heat water, the water brush, it's a regular water brush. They dissolve very well. see that they are very pigmented okay how well do they dissolve okay let me show you that I'm not scrubbing but when I start scrubbing the pigment dissolves Okay, not completely, but enough. Okay. So like in previous video, I've shown you the red and blue color mixing. I'm going to do the same here. Again, dry, they don't mix very well, as you can see. But when I add water, you get this really nice purple hue. Okay, and again, you can see the amount of pigment load that is on. And with the blue, you can see that it dissolves pretty well. And with this bread, it's not completely dry yet, but you can tell the difference already. Okay. That's with blending. And that's, that's, you can't really blend. And then I want to show you something as well. Okay, this is blue. This is red. 
this is yellow this yellow is disintegrating as well that's why it's really sticky right now it's almost like a oil pastel in that sense so what i'm gonna do is see this yellow i can smudge very well okay i can't i can do some of it with red but not as well and with the blue same thing okay but not as well so that's what what happens with this integrating sticks so now i'm going to show you what happens with the green that's disintegrating so these two greens is in the same state as this but worse and that's why you see this blob here because as soon as i try to color on it the whole thing comes off and it's like really soft and mushy okay you can see so they're not holding together very well but they can still dissolve okay nothing wrong with the pigment they can still dissolve it's just like maybe the binder is disintegrating and isn't holding up okay so you don't have a lot of control at the point. so it becomes more like a water soluble oil pastel Okay, it's this two green. This stick of green is the same thing. See? The texture becomes like oil pastel, but it's only these few colors. Okay? Like, these, these three colors. So I remember when I got them a few years ago, this yellow was already like in this cracked state. I thought it was just because it's dry, but it's actually disintegrating. But the other colors are okay. Oh, what else can I show you? Hey, I'm going to show you this. So when so this is dry and this is I'm gonna show you one part net okay Is this dry? Okay, that's dry. So I can show you that. So this is the white. So this white, when you add the white, it actually does lighten the color, as you can see here. Same thing with this. So when it, when you wet the color and it's dry, it does go on pretty well. So you can layer them really nicely. So this part's dry and show you. Okay. So now even though they don't blend really well to dry, let me show you. Okay. They do somewhat blend, but not as well. But there's something that you can do, so I'm going to show you three very similar colors, all blue.
Okay. Now, they may not blend very well dry, but when you apply water, they'll blend. Okay. Same with this. Again, the blue and the white. Okay. So those are the properties. Okay. And if you look at some reviews on the U on some YouTube websites, they're going to tell you that, I mean, I'm not the first one who reviewed, who reviewed the Lyra Aqua Color Aquarelle. Those others who have reviewed it have said the same thing, like, you could probably use these like you could use this set like the parent the parent dash new color too uh, so you can look at this as budget parent dash new color too if you like it and these are like brand new in the sense that they're new type of Color. Oops. They're a new type of coloring media because, in one sense, when they first go down, they work like crayons, but then they dissolve in water, but then you can also make them work light more pastel okay so there are a new breed of coloring materials in that sense they work like oil pastel they work like crayons but then they are also water soluble but on, on the one hand, they're not water soluble or pastel. I have a whole video on that in the future because I do have a set. Of, I do have a couple of set of water soluble oil pastels, which I won't get into now. But I just wanted to show you what this is all about and show you a new type of coloring material which you can choose to use in your neural graphic art if you want to. Okay, so about some of the stuff that I wanted to talk about is that you can actually sharpen. I'm not going to actually do that, but you can get one of these, these sharpeners, okay, like with two holes, one gigantic hole and one for normal. And you can actually sharpen these inside the larger hole. You can, and then you can save the sharpenings, the, the thing, the pigment that's being shaved off. Okay. And then you can get like one of these bottles. Okay. They look like this. Or any any kind of stackable bottle, or even containers where you can keep their like sectional containers where you can keep stuff. Okay, I like I like these because I can keep the shavings in here. I actually bought bought these specially for that reason, like in case I have to sharpen any of them. So, what you do is you sharpen with the pencil in. To, I mean, no, you don't sharpen the pencil. You sharpen with a sharpener, and then you sh you 
save the shavings into these containers and then the shavings can e eventually become watercolor for you if you want. So that's the good thing about it, okay? Alright, so with that, I'm going to get into a coloring, a, a drawing and coloring demo. There's something that's very simple that I've done and you will see how they react and how they work. You get an idea of how they work when you're actually doing a painting. So I've shown you already how these things are. I actually kind of like them. They're quite pigmented as you can see and you can layer them dry quite well even when wet and you can lighten color with white color okay you can blend them with water okay and you can save the shavings up and use them like watercolor later on if you feel like it. okay so even though the three colors i've shown you now these three colors the kind of is integrating you can actually still use them but you can, uh, it's not as effective as the other, the other colors. The other colors seem to be okay. Except for the three colors, I'm not sure why only these three colors. Not complaining. It's three out of 48. So this is, 40, this is a set of 48 colors. Okay. They're not very expensive, especially if you compare it to the Perindosh Neo Color 2 water water soluble crayons these are actually at a great discount if you consider them if you compare them with the new color twos all right so with that i'm going to stop here and then i'm going to go into the coloring part the draw the painting part and then after that i will share some more other information with you like the light fastness now let me talk a little bit about light fasteners first. They stay, they are light resistant. Okay, according to this company, they say they're light resistant. So I am currently doing my night light fast test with these colors. It's all swatched out and it's already on the window. I'm just waiting for the time to come. Um, by the time towards the end of this video, I'll share the results of the colors. Of course, when I'm recording this video, it's doing its thing right now at the south facing window. And I can't share the results with you now because it's in the process of testing. But I will share with you towards the end of the video. And you will see, and we will see whether how light fast these are all right so i will talk to you again a little later
So I hold here results for the light fast test. So before I review the results, let me say that the light, this test was in no way conducted in any scientific manner. It was just a swatch put into a piece of plastic bag, a document plastic bag and hang onto a cell facing window and this south facing window gets indirect sun the entire day okay not direct sun but indirect sun and this swatch has been hanging on the window for the past 90 days so without further ado i am going to review the results okay so I am zoomed in at the moment to let you see the results more clearly. So this is the swatch that has been hanged on the window. Okay. And this sheet here is the sheet that has been kept in the dark in the closet okay so i'm going to show you this here and slowly pan through because i think something really interesting <laughs> already happened here so as you can see here okay it's very evident that these two pink colors the not make the light fast test okay they're clearly fugitive and they're faded okay one almost white the other is slightly faded significantly okay both significantly faded and then the next one over as you can see here it's this is clearly slightly lighter not by a whole lot so it's not very significant but you can tell i mean i can't even really tell from the screen i'm looking at but i can tell on the paper this very 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 slight color change but let's say if i don't have this sheet next to it 
you can't even tell that there's change at all. Okay. So as I as I go through this, there isn't any change in the rest of the color. Won't maybe orange. This orange is also slightly, ever so slightly lighter than this one there. And this color too, it's just a slight, slight, slightly lighter than this color. So you can barely tell that there is any change for those, those few colors. And these were the two greens that were disintegrated. And it looks like there's no change at all. Okay, and the yellow, the yellow that was disintegrated was this one. And again, there's no change. Okay, but what really surprised me was this purple here. There's no change at all. I expected it to fade. Anyways, I'm going to pan up. Can see the rest of the colors here. So there's there really isn't any much change. Well, okay, I'm noticing a very very slight change in this color here. Well, for some reason on the screen, it this color appears like really really blue to me this color on, on real paper it looks a little bit more purplish like a purplish blue than like blue blue okay and you can tell that there's a little slight change here very very slight purple again very slight change So these two colors, no, there isn't. That's just reflection, I think. Yeah, it's just reflection from the paper. Let me change it. Bit. Yeah. Once I change the reflection, it doesn't look like there is any change at all. Okay. So, and then now we have the other two colors here. Extra colors. There's 42, there's 40, 48 colors on this. And I don't think there's any change in these colors. They look fine. You can't really tell there's any difference at all. Alright, so this is the result of the Lira for column crayons. And with this, I'm going to say thank you for watching and I will talk to you again in the next video.